How's it going everyone? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. So, the last episode, there was a, a huge event that occurred. There was the change of heart with Okumura, but also something else. Something that wasn't exactly planned. So definitely watch the last episode if you did not, uh, because spoilers in like five seconds. After we check if the plant needs to... Oh, yep, there we go. So Okumura died, like... He is no longer a part of the living realm. I was kind of hoping for a different outcome because it is kind of upsetting that he died. Can I do anything? No way. I don't think I can. Damn it. Oh wait, that's right, because we were at Destiny Land. Which I think is actually the place we need to take the twins, now that I think about it. Maybe. Now that we've gone there, maybe we can uh, take them there. I think that's where we need to take them. Okuma is dead. I killed him with my hands. On your feet, in May. Our master oh. has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. Okay. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. <laughs> but. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. I know this, of course. However, what of the general public? Man, fuck the general public. It seems a contingency has occurred. But I mean, it was bound to happen at some point. You know, there's going to be a downfall. You know, the... the the higher you are, the bigger you are, the harder rate, you fall or whatever. Your rehabilitation cannot be completed, though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. All right. I mean, I'll take the confidant boost. Or rank up or whatever. All right. What do you think happens whenever Igor eats we somebody out? Again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. It's just one of those things that I think about at night. Like, does the snozzer get stuck up in there? Or, like, does he... Uh-oh, oh, the number went down. Does, like, he smell more than he bargained for? True? Did you hear? Okumura died. It's all over the news. He collapsed during his press conference, right? I wish I'd been watching it when it happened. You probably are better off. It was a total disaster. I never imagined seeing a heart attack it would be so unsettling. The news says it was because of illness, but either way you spin it. Still bizarre. Damn, wish I'd seen it live. You really do get pulled into the velvet room a lot in P5. I was surprised how little you get- Yeah, it's weird. It's really weird when you think about it. Listen this time, okay? Alright, looks like, uh, oh wait, nope. Uh, I don't think, uh, this is a... A moment where we can dick around, unfortunate. I thought it was going to be hidden camera show at first. I was so scared I changed the channel. He really looked like he was in pain. That was sick. Will you quiet down? We're in class right now. Not to mention, you have midterms starting on Monday. Focus on studying. Things are getting pretty bad. I know, you have this whole predicament going on, and then there's like, oh yeah, get ready to fucking study. Kirisukun, please come to the student guidance office. Kirisukun, oh, I just said that. That sounded like Kawakami. I wonder what's up. What's going on here? Sorry. Sorry to pull you out of class, but it's about Takase Kun's guardians. Ah, her confidant. I told them that I'm not going to pay them any more money. And I'm quitting my part time job, too. Although I'm still in talks with my boss about it, I'm going to devote myself to being a, a great teacher. No matter what others say, I won't waver. So thank you for giving me such good advice. I just thought you should be the first to know. Miss Kawakami, you have guests. The Takases are here. What? They're here at school? How long are you going to make us wait? Tuh, <laughs> him again. Uh, you know it, lady. <laughs> How rude. I guess a student is only as good as his teacher. Obviously, you lack a proper education. You thought you could just call and say you're not going to pay anymore? Who do you think you are? You know. It's what I decided for Takase-kun's sake. 
I'm not gonna make, or I'm gonna make sure there won't be any more students like him who... So you're just trying to get out of your responsibility. I bet you don't even care about Taiki. How are you still a teacher? Maybe we really should sue the Board of Education. Are you okay with that? A teacher who caused your student to die would surely cause a scandal. I'm not going to run or hide. I'm going to spend my time taking care of my students. If you want to take legal action, then go ahead. Regardless, I'll continue teaching. I've decided that that's the best apology I can make to takuse -kun. Paying money to you two is not the solution, to say the least. Hmm. Along with suing you, maybe I should tell everyone about your little secret. You know, about your little stint as a sex worker. What? How did you... Oh, so I'm right, am I? What? I mean, the amount of money you're paying us can't come from just a teacher's salary. Well, shall we head on over to the faculty office? Stop, please. Ha, huh, a teacher working in the sex industry. You've definitely done it this time. How unfortunate for you that you thought you could just leave Taike's matter unsettled. You know what you have to do now, right? Pay up, and don't ever call us again with this garbage about stopping the payments. I guess I can't quit my part-time job just yet. I know, but what am I supposed to do? What about the Phantom Thieves? Would they even help someone like me? No, that's impossible. Haha. <laughs> Kawakami appears to be deeply hurting. I need to do something for Kawakami. Oh, here we go. I need their names. Who the Takase's? My husband is Toshio-san, and his wife is Hiromi-san. Ha, huh, I can never forget them. I send them money every week. Wait, why? You don't intend on doing something, do you? Please don't. A Shujin teacher asking the Phantom Thieves for help would be... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was, I was so excited to tell you what I decided, and then, I, and then it ended up like this. Just forget everything, okay? If you, if you think about it, I'm right back where I started. I guess I'll never be able to change. Yeah, haha. <laughs> Class is about to start. I need to go. I need to do something about the targets for Kawakami. And there we go. Hehe. <laughs> That's kind of what I was waiting for. I'm, I'm trying to like rack up some requests before we actually go into mementos. Hmm, it seems police have shown up at our school. The police? What for? Your sister hasn't told you about any of this. Nothing at all. Could this be related to Okumura's death in some way? But there's no connection between our school and Okumura Foods. Think they came to talk to Haru? She's absent today. Then seriously, what are they here for? I can't even begin to fathom the reason. Anyhow, let's be particularly careful not to stand out, and head straight home when school ends. Understand that, everyone? Damn, looks like we can't dick around in Shibuya this time around. We haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. Uh, we're hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. Oh. Floof. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. Bye. The principal? No one told me about that. Huh. <laughs> well... There's something about that, Haru. Ugh, I think we're being a little set up. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. Yeah, we were in Hawaii. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. 
Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but with my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Damn, that law Still, degree doesn't work. if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? I can't ignore criminals. My teammate was in danger. We were interested. It really is the second one here. <clears throat> <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. Hey, good to know we're off on that hook. I mean, nobody else would probably believe us, but eh, whatever. All right. <laughs> but with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <sighs> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? That's a good question. Oh no. My vision is starting to get distorted. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Hear me? You need to stay focused. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. That's what I thought you meant, Jamie, but I didn't want to say anything until I got confirmation on who you were referring to. Yeah? What you're saying is true. You must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last, we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> Got him. This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. What? No, <laughs> now, just kidding. Explain everything to me. It's like we're the ones that are surprised. Like, I know we did it, but it still is very surprising. I don't know where this burst of energy is coming from, by the way. Yeah, we are getting closer to the present, but I think now we're going to start having some gaps in our memory. I remember that being kind of a thing. Has anyone been able to contact Haru? No luck here. Me neither. She won't pick up. It doesn't look like she's seen any of our chance either. I'm worried about her. <laughs> Yikes. I hope Haru's okay. Yeah, I hope so too. Oh nice, I can actually do shit. That's always good. I can't go out. Yeah, I can't. Uh, so I can read. I can actually study. That might be a good thing. What do I have to read? Hmm. I mean, doing all these things might be really great. Doing this would be fantastic, actually. Techniques written by a professional darts player. Yeah, I should probably do that, to be honest. Like, I should probably read these books and all that, but at the same time, it's like... You know, tests are coming up. We should probably be ready. I, we'll probably have opportunities to hang out with confidants in order to, like, work on knowledge, though. So, I guess for now, we're going to become a pro darts player. Make sure you close up. That's always a good thing. I feel like we'll definitely need to get our proficiency up as well if we want to take full advantage of all those uh, boosts and shit. Oh. All right. You can now use third eye when playing darts. Tight. This increases your focus when preparing to throw a dart, making it easier to hit where you aim. Oh, nice. I mean, why not? It's, uh, helpful. I haven't really, like, screwed up too much while playing. President Okumura died, is this just a coincidence? Is there an illness that could cause that? Nah, no way. So it was murder. That's terrifying. And this might be the biggest event of the century. I mean, yeah. It could be. Damn, that number is just dropping by the day. <clears throat> oh, Akira-kun? My apologies for messaging you so early in the morning. Things have calmed down a bit at home, so I thought there's something I need to tell you. Uh, there's actually something that's caught my attention. 
I think I need to discuss it with everyone, though. We should meet at the, at the hideout after school. It looks like Haru is managing. Somehow. Uh, is the original, do you get something when you read all the big boy books and go back to the old man? Do you get something from him? I'm not sure, actually. I don't remember. I think maybe. I only did it on my second run, which I got all the trophies for. So my, my new game plus run, that's when I did all the books. I don't really remember, to be honest. All right. Let's meet up with everyone after school. I know there's a trophy that you can get in the original for reading all the books. I don't really see us getting it this time around, but I do want to try and get a lot out of the, the books and the DVDs and all that. Was Okumura murdered? But that was a live broadcast, wasn't it? If it wasn't an illness, then it has to be murder. Did something happen to the honor student? She seems different now. Still, I feel bad for him going out like that. One of those things was really just not like the other. I guess we'll see what happens whenever we actually do read all the big boy books and we go to him. With this, preparations are finally in place. The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. You wanna you wanna see something cool, Jamie? Instead of pressing X, if you actually press triangle, you go to the next bit of dialogue like normal, but it doesn't make the sound. Now then, she'll be next. I swear I'm not yes. on auto either. I've already spoken to human resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. It's just kind of weird for me, so that's why I always press X. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time. <laughs> Indeed. They'll become the criminals we've set them up to be, just as you instructed. This man is the definition of pure evil. Hey, can you speak a little louder into my right ear? It's so damn loud. Hmm? Where's Haru? She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? But what's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura. So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. Still! They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? What a lightning-fast change of attitude. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> Haru! I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. I'm okay now. I hope. Um, I called everyone together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. Um... It was a woman named... Nijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if... things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. What do you mean? Perhaps... We may have been set up by the real culprit. Yeah. For real? That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? Let's all calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, 
Even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? Yeah, I honestly kind of forgot about that. <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. Okay, bye. I wonder what that could be. At any rate, we need to behave and not draw attention to ourselves. Understood? I love Haru's aesthetic. I never felt this way before. Don't tell me the Phantom Thieves did that to President Okumura. They're heroes, they would never do that. It'd be dis or I'd be disappointed if they just turned out to be criminals. It has to be some kind of trick. They would never do that. I can't think of any other explanation. That has to be it. Yeah, I know. She she pieced the fuck out. For real? They found a calling card on the principal? But that's impossible. I was wondering when we were going to hear from Mishima. This is ridiculous. Why are people doubting the Phantom Thieves over what happened to President Okumura? They'd never do such a thing. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Yeah, I trust them. Anyway, it seems like everyone's forgotten all that they've done up to this point. That won't stop me, though. I'll continue cheering them on. Make sure you tell them that. We'll s <laughs> see you later. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. Mishima is a bit narrow-sighted, but he's a good person deep down. We can't betray him. I know, we maxed out his confidant. That'd be fucked up. Alright, so we're still confined to the, uh... To the home here, which is a little unfortunate, but I think that's okay. What do you got to say, Sojuro? Hey. Have you been talking with Futaba? Has she said anything? About what? Fuck the Phantom Thieves. All my homies hate the Phantom Thieves. Like, one week ago, like, bro, Phantom Thieves, super tight. Uh, present day, fuck the Phantom Thieves. Never liked them. Uh, do we have anything to watch or play games with or anything like that? I mean, I'm I'm down to do something. Uh, charm. Ah, oh, fuck. We don't need that anymore. Shit. Okay, well, fuck the DVD. I guess it's time to read. Actually, you know what? Let's do a little bit of studying, just in case. Now listen up. Yeah, we'll we'll do, do just uh just a little bit of studying. Make sure you close up. We need to make sure we're like max knowledge when that time comes. Hey, hey. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter that much because you get charm as a result of that, but eh, whatever. <laughs> At least we're doing something somewhat productive. Back in the base game, it's it's situations like these where Morgana would just be like, nah, bro, you gotta go to sleep. I'm sorry for worrying all of you. I won't be able to respond for a little while longer. You don't need to mind us. More importantly, are you doing all right? I'm okay. I'm more worried about the people at the company, to be honest. It seems everyone's having difficulty with not only clients, but the press as well. They're even handling the preparations for my father's funeral. I just feel so guilty that I'm unable to help out at all. You shouldn't. Everyone understands this is a trying time for you, and we're here if anything happens. I know. I'll get in touch once things settle down. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bless that girl. Worrying about others even at a time like this. Yeah. I honestly, I really do feel bad for her. This is like a difficult like moment in the game. I bet they killed Okumura to make an example out of him. Impossible. Why else would they kill him during a press conference? I read somewhere that Okumura raised his daughter alone. Maybe he wasn't a great manager, but as a parent, I feel for him. Murdering someone to make a point is textbook terrorism. Like Shido and that Akechi kid say, the Phantom Thieves are a menace. <sighs> Who the fuck was that first fella? Have we been uh, cheering on murderers all this time? It has to be a setup. The Phantom Thieves aren't like that. They have to endure that harsh training every day? I feel a bit sorry for them. I believe in the Phantom Thieves, they, they wouldn't do that. Oh, the gymnast girl? Yeah, she's changed in a good way. 
It's nice to see that people are talking about Kasumi even throughout all this madness. Oh, it's raining today. Who on earth set us up? Does anyone have any ideas? Of course not. If I were to guess, I would say the culprit behind the mental shutdowns. Wait, how do we how do we even know we got set up to begin with? They found a calling card in Principal Kobayakawa's office. Someone else had to have planted that, obviously. In the worst case scenario, it's possible they know our identities. This is bad, guys. Yes, our state of affairs is looking quite bleak. How are we going to do that, though? It looks like our only choice now is to find the true culprit. Although, we don't have any leads. Damn it, why's this got to happen to us? It's a good question, Ryuji. It's a good question. I wish we could prove our innocence, but we can't afford to make a dumb mistake and get ourselves caught. We'll just have to keep laying low and wait. Let's not do anything conspicuous, okay? Mishima. Hey, sorry for bringing this up when things are so chaotic. I know it's been tough after hap or what happened to President Okuma and all, but this is the perfect time for smaller changes of heart to restore your reputation. Anyway, here's the info I have. If true, this one is pretty crazy. Apparently an ex-mercenary who works as an assassin is hiding out in the Shibuya underground. He acts like a homeless person during the day, but then goes out about or goes about his work at night. He hasn't left any trace of his identity though, so there's nothing the police can do. Right? I can't breathe easy knowing he's out there. Well, according to rumors, his name is Yohai Kiritani. I'm seriously scared. I don't want anything to do with this. I'm leaving this to you, Royal Stands. Mishima really does get some amazing info for us sometimes. Yeah, this is like really out there. Our reputation may have taken a hit after Okumura's death, but we can still prove our justice in mementos. We should discuss this with everyone when we have time. Oh, and we have to meet up with Haru before we can go in. Yeah, can we actually not go in right now because of Haru? I'm very unsure about that. Also, I think today would be a terrible day to like go out into Mementos because we can actually max Yusuke's Confidant and Takami's. Like, we can max them out and be done with them. So, I'm gonna hold off on Mementos for now. I don't know if that's the right strategy. I should write something. I really don't know. I'm sure there'll be like another day that we can go in. I just really don't want to go in, and also, I really want to do this shit. Yes, exams are close, Makoto, you are absolutely right, but Yusuke, on the other hand, is right here. Let's do this shit. It turns out my newest piece has been selected to be displayed in Kamenabe's art exhibit. Let's go see it, yeah. Yeah! Hmm. Damn, that's a lot cooler than I remember. Yusuke's painting won the competition. I still have much to learn, but I finally painted something that I can be satisfied with. Yes, this is the true heart of humanity. The title is Desire and Hope. What do you think? Turned out well, so you added hope. Well, I added aspects that were previously lacking. This light is all of you. The title lists hope, but in my mind, it's a much more concrete thing. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. Mm. You, it's a good painting. Huh? It's not trying to be eccentric for the sake of being eccentric, like the last time. To think the same painting can change this much. So this is the answer you've come up with. It is. Desire and hope, I see. Beauty and ugliness. Humans are creatures that possess both. It seems you understand that. What are you playing at? You provoked Yusuke on purpose or you scheme? Yeah, we'll go with this top one. 
I apologize, although my intent was to encourage you. It was rather crude. Still, I believe that this ploy needed to be done in order to ignite your competitive spirit. But why would you do that? What's your objective? Yeah. I wanted to do something for you as another person who is free from Matarame's chains. That's all. Huh? Matarame held a grudge against me for supposedly stealing his customers from him. To start, I couldn't get anyone to rent me space for exhibits. He caused me no end of hardship. So that's why. Yes, the heart of man is painted with desire, even if it's coated entirely in black at times. However, it seems you have the strength to not look away from it, and chose to stand up against it. If only he had your strength. Matarame and I go back a long way. First as classmates, then as teachers at the same art school. He used to have a noble spirit. Said he wanted to aim for the top of the art world one day. Huh. But in the end, even the art world has its share of politics. Those who are cunning win. Our hearts were stained black in that manner. But the human heart is a strange thing. It can't completely separate black from white. I was shocked when I heard that he took you in. He never liked children, you see. Oh? Yeah, that's kind of interesting, though. This happened just before we cut all ties from each other. But I got a call from him. He was panicking that nearby clinics were closed and that his kid had a fever. Sensei. He was a good man deep down. Yeah. I don't want any more losers like me, or misguided winners like him being born from this world. That's why I started this foundation. So how about it? Would you like our support? <laughs> Without the overbearing marketing production, of course. It's a truly kind offer. Thank you for your generosity. However, I must respectfully decline. Huh. What makes you say that? I am not Madarame. I won't be stained by desire. After all, I can see hope. If I am lost, they will extend their hands. If I am wrong, they will chastise me. As long as I have my rays of hope to guide me, I will be fine. Ha! Madarame really did have a good eye. <laughs> what a strange man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's the strange one. It is a tad wasteful of me to decline. Still, I believe it's for the best. I feel contradictory, but that's the human heart, correct? <sighs> Interesting. That's exactly what I should be painting. It must have been troublesome dealing with me, but for some reason... I knew that you wouldn't abandon me until everything was said and done. Thank you, my friend. Damn, I forgot how good Yusuke's confidant story was. Like, I knew it was good. I don't I know how... Like, how dare I not complete it entirely on my first run of this... Of the base game, that is. Like, it's All just right. so good. All right. Odin. Let's see the uh, evolution. Oh yeah. Now that's wicked. Persona within me has awakened to a new power. All right. Goimon is now Kamu Susano. I like. Now that I'm out of my slump, I need to make up for the time I wasn't able to paint. I reiterate my promise to you. I'll extend my assistance to you, should you ever stumble. Your favorite confidant story, but not your favorite character. Yeah, I don't know what I would say would be my uh, Shall we go? favorite story. In order for me to learn more about the heart, we need to work hard on our thief business. I'd have to think about that one. 
evade fire. We definitely need this. We could probably get rid of, um... Hmm. Rising Slash, Dormant Rush. Probably don't need Dormant Rush anymore, to be honest. Because we have some heavy shit. There is that, you know, low chance of sleep, but I'm sure we'll get something. There is that Deadly Fury that's coming up, so we'll get rid of Dormant Rush. Because we need that Evade Fire, that shit's tight. Yo. I hear the Phantom Thieves killed someone, it's all over the news. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Alright, well, fuck, oh yeah. We can't rank up with Kawakami because of the uh, Mementos request, and Sojiro's out because we don't have enough kindness. Oh man. Damn it. This is not good. This is actually the Let's worst thing of all time. Hmm. You know. Something I do want to try out. I don't know if we're at the right, you know, position right now. But, we could try the final Big Bang Burger Challenge. If it doesn't work out, I could just reload. Take the challenge. Yeah. Alright, we should be okay. According to Morgana, I think we're good to go. Fingers crossed, though. Thank you very much. All right, let's let's see the fucking burger. Oh yeah. That's incredible. This is what they call heart stopping. The volume, the flavor, the calories, the diabetes that are you are bound to get like. Now then. Like you you, that is lethal. <sighs> Eat it. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. Now we don't have to do that. Oh, yeah, we've never done the mediating at the temple. What do you get out of that? Captain badge. Nice. World famous Big Bang Burger. Oh, nice. Please come again. Only increases SP. Hmm. I might have to try that out like later in the game, maybe. Now we can get a whole bunch of confidant points and shit. So that's for guts. Nice. Oh, dude, there's so many confidant points. Knowledge. Charm. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, proficiency maxed out, baby. Ha ha ha. Ah, ha, ha. So kindness, guts, and knowledge are all that awaits. Oh boy. All right. Wanna head back? Bro, that was hella worth it. Ooh. <laughs> I know. Time to play billiards. Now we can do that move. So they were just deceiving us. I guess Akechi was right after all. No, I still believe in the Phantom Thieves. They're murderers, right? Hurry up and arrest them. How long are the police going to let them run loose? Good question. This sucks. I wonder when Okumura-san will start coming back to school. I know the funeral's soon. It must be tough organizing the funeral for a bigwig CEO. Okumura-san is usually pretty quiet. Do you think she's okay? Hard to believe the dad of such a nice girl could be so evil. I didn't expect this from the Phantom Thieves. That was a full-blown public execution. That shit was very, like... Like, it was out there. They weren't censoring shit there. Oh, time to read texts extremely slowly. Actually, I don't think we can get anything out of this. At least beneficial, because our charm is maxed. Things are looking rough online. They're just calling us a bunch of murderers. All the celebrities who supported us are being criticized now, too. It's all gone up in flames. People are posting about this stuff everywhere. I highly doubt that someone who supported us did so honestly. There must have been many who simply went with the winning side. I get mixed feelings about this when you put it that way. It does make me rethink a lot of things. That aside, we need to deal with our situation first. 
Our state of affairs continues to worsen. We can't just sit back and watch this happen. Still, we can't make a move when we don't have any leads. What are we supposed to do then? Right around when... Yeah, right around when your exams end will be the perfect timing. Uh, for what? Don't worry about it. Anyway, just wait and see what happens. Time... For, for the time being, let's discuss things after our exams end. Ugh, there's no way I can focus on exams like this. Can you ever? Yep, oh, there it is. Hey, are you listening? I mean, we're gonna dodge it. We have max proficiency. But, like I said, our charm is max, so, like, what do we even get out of this? Hey! I really went ham on the charm for Makoto's sake. Eventually, we should be hitting max knowledge. I'm hoping that's what's next. People are saying terrible things about us, calling us murderers. They really are. Oh. Yusuke wants to help out with exams. But we can rank up with Takami. We can hang out with Makoto. I definitely need to do billiards. I'm going to finish up Takami's confidant and cross my fingers hoping that nothing is going on tomorrow so that we can go to Mementos. That's what I'm hoping for. That's something. the plan here. I don't think it'll work out, but we gotta try something. Before we do that, though, I do want to run around here in Shibuya. Central Street. We need to, uh... You're gonna guess Knowledge, Kindness, and then Guts? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with, too. Yeah, we're gonna return this shit. Welcome. Uh, so there's... Charm? So we don't need any more DVDs right now. God damn it. That's unfortunate. Uh, any new books? Please, take your time. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'll buy it, but... When it comes to guidebooks, I usually don't look at them. Alrighty. So the clinic we go, we'll finish up Takami's uh, confidant. Hers was pretty good, too. I mean, I don't really care too much for her character. It's not a bad character, but... Yeah, I don't know. Hey. I did max out her uh, her confidant in the... Uh... Hey, doctor. Does it matter who likes someone first? Yes. I, did, I maxed out her confidant in the uh, in my first what run of the game. What are you talking about? There's a boy I like, but my friend told me that I have to let her have him because she liked him first. Oh, that's not true. Really? Then why did she say that? Likely because she's jealous of you. Just be careful because it might result in pandemonium. And... Demonium. That girl's gotten a lot better. So much so, in fact, that now she's gossiping. She even comes in on days she doesn't have to. It appears she's nearly fully recovered. Which reminds me, the new medicine will be completed soon. Your data has been extremely helpful due to your generic body type and bland health history. Well, I guess that's good. You've been a splendid guinea pig. I mean, participant. So, thanks again. By the way, how have I been doing? Have I been helpful? For your escapades with the phantom thieves, I mean. Uh-oh. Come on, you and I both know that you were lying about needing to prepare for the entrance exams. I visited Oyamata in jail. A swing of fortunes like that could have only come at the hands of the phantom thieves. Sure. <laughs> It's the big titty goth GF, yeah? I guess so. And to have it happen when it did, isn't the only logical conclusion to think that it's you? <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> well, I don't care. The point is that without you, I wouldn't have been able to complete my mission. I would have never finished the new medicine while I was being deceived by Oyamata. And I would have never met any of the townspeople. I bet the Phantom Thieves save people in need. Just like doctors do, huh? So, I'll go out on a limb for you. I'll have even more powerful medicine ready for you. I trust that you'll use them appropriately. Definitely waste them. That's for sure. Alright. Finally, we're able to finish up her confidant. 
increases the selection of revival items at the clinic. Hell yeah. All right. All right. Ooh, Alice. Ah, uh, she's a she's a fun persona. I'm not gonna give them to you for free though. So you better make some money in the name of justice. Oh, don't worry. We're going to Mementos very soon. <laughs> now go. Take care. I think we'll be okay. I really don't want to go to Mementos, but I know that I should. Mm. So the Phantom Thieves are murderers. I guess all the praise they got before doesn't amount to much now. Ooh, but the Thieves' Den was updated. That worries me. I never made Alice because I never maxed the Twins' Confidant. Oh yeah, I need to do that too. I guess I'll have to... Oh, fuck me. I guess I'll have to do a lot of grinding for the uh, Twins' Confidant while we're in good old Mementos. I won't do that, like, in this session. I'll just add this. I don't even know what I'm gonna do right now. But we are making some really good progress with confidants, and maxing these out is really proving that. 